Hi, so today I'm going to be showing a bit of the Kink Guitar Pedals Charlie Fuzz. It's a one knob, thick, blasting fuzz with uh, a very small pedal footprint. Um, it has a graphic of Charles, Charles Manson on it where the LEDs are his eyes glowing red. But uh, ignoring all that for the moment, let's. Uh, this is the sound of my guitar clean. Right? Okay, so we're going to start with the fuzz, the knob, all the way to max. It creates an incredible amount of volume and an incredible amount of fuzz, and it's very thick, thick, rich fuzz. <laughs> Got a big thick bottom end, but um, when you if you roll off the volume on the guitar, you start to lose a lot of that. Um, I'll give an example of that now. At no point did I get the uh, volume knob below five then too. So as you can see, it's a, it, it's really affected by changes in the output of the pickups. Um, but it's a big, thick, nasty fuzz. And uh, cranked like that, it does a tremendous job of running for leads or for riffs. Uh, let's try some single note stuff and see what we get. <laughs> also has, like I said, one single knob to control the fuzz, but it's fuzz and volume. So as you turn the volume of the knob down, you lose, it cleans up the fuzz a bit, but you also lose a lot of volume. So obviously this is, has an enormous amount of fuzz and an enormous amount of volume on tap. So at 10 or, you know, max, it's, it's churning out an enormous volume boost to the pedal. At about 12 o'clock, it's about parity, give or take. Um, I'm going to take it down to that now and just see if it cleans up a little bit. up a little bit but it's still very dirty and very fuzzy if you bring it down much more than that you can clean it up a little bit but you start to lose a little bit of volume so you might have to compensate for that somehow Like I said, again, for notes, similar. This is back up at 12 o'clock. That's about it. Thanks a lot.